Welcome, this will be a quick tutorial on opening up the Valcom Advanced Communication System Programmer. From your window screen you'll go to the start window at the bottom left corner and you want to scroll down to the V's for Valcom and I have a folder called Valcom and you should have one similar. Underneath it I have a Valcom ACS Programmer. We're going to click on that. Get the little splash screen and you may have this or you may have another window show up. If you have this one show up, what you're going to do is you're going to click communicate with system, hit OK. Then it's going to give you this screen right here. This screen you should already have one saved, like here I have one and it has an IP address. If this is your first time you may have to manually enter the data. You have to put in an IP address 192.168.11 and a password. Now IP address is going to be set by whoever set up your system, so this uh, IP address is stuck in here. It's just for example. But the default password is going to be the word Valcom, but spelled with numbers. So if you look at a phone number, or a, not a phone number, but a phone, or the display, I believe it's 825266. Again, that spells out the word Valcom. And you would hit connect. Now on mine, I'm actually connected to a panel, so I will not be able to connect. But you would wait a moment, and it would tell you either your communication has failed, or you are, are a success. So assuming you are a success, up here where mine it says connect, yours will not have connect. Instead, it'll have release, because you are currently connected to the panel, and you could disconnect by releasing. Now the next step you'd want to do is you want to transfer and you'd want to receive the files. So make sure that you have the most current version of the panel program onto your computer. Because there is an instance where you might have multiple people that can program the panel, and someone programmed it last week and you programmed it last a month ago. So your program on your computer currently is out of date. So you want to go to Transfer, Receive Files. You'll get a little progress bar. Um, if you have a slow connection, it may fail. You may have to do it a couple times. So you want to receive the files, then save them. Now I said there's a chance that when you first open up, you might get another screen. And this is the first time you ever open it up, you will get one. And it simply looks some, something like this. So it'll be a screen like this. So we'll have nothing in here right now. I have one saved. If that one wasn't in here, it would look... Well, no, I don't want to delete it. It would just... Uh, it'd be blank. And you would have add... And then it gets similar to this page here. You would name the panel, give it the IP address, and put in that password of Valcom, spelled out with numbers. Then you hit OK, and you back out, and you get connect at that point. The other program you might want to get into is under Valcom. If you have the, oh, went too far, V for Valcom. If you go and you have a Valcom ACS administrator, it's very similar. Again, it's going to pop up. If you connected to one before, you might have one saved. If not, you're going to have to enter in data for the first time. But you would uh, enter in information, hit connect. Again, if you uh, ever connect to a panel, you'd either hit a success or a failure. But once you're connected to it, again, the connect button up here would black gray out and you would have the release and you would then be connected to the administration. And that's all for this video. It's just a simple how to connect to the panel. Thank you.